Hey, thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Trump, owner of Oak Ridge Barbecue. Did you know we we're pioneers? That's right. We were the very first company in all the spice industry to use flexible bags instead of spice shakers for our products. Ten years later, still using them, still loving them, but there's still a few folks out there who have questions about how to use these bags properly to dispense spices. So we're going to take the next 60 seconds, show you real quick how to do it. Sit back, relax, have a drink. We'll be right there. All right, now, how to use these bags correctly. Yeah, that's right. There is a right way and there's a couple wrong ways to use these. So we're going to take this 60 seconds. We're going to show you real quick what the right way is. So first things first, you're going to open up the bag. And I've, I have taken some scissors and I've actually cut the top off here. You can tear it off however you'd like. I kind of like a neat edge, so I use scissors. All right, we're going to open the bag. Now, as soon as you open the bag, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the male side of the zipper. That's right. There's a male and a female side. Okay. All right. I got to explain it to you. Okay. So the male side has one bump and the female side has two bumps. So you kind of get the picture. All right. So we're looking for the male side and you can do this in the dark by just using your fingers and you can feel the difference between the two sides. So once you have found that male side, you're going to turn that male side down. All right. Because it's down then now you've you have pinched the bag and you've created a little pour spout right here. Uh, a lot of people think that it's best to pour it out this way. And when you do, uh, all the spices get caught right in here and they're really hard to get out of that really tight corner. So we want to avoid that. So again, find that male side, turn it down and pour out of this side. So what it's going to look like is just like that. That's what it's going to look like. All right. So now you're done dispensing the spices. You might have a little bit of spice residue left right there in that uh, kind of on top of that male zipper. So what we're going to do is we're just going to flick the bag. A couple flicks, maybe flick a corner or two just to make sure that there's no rub sticking around in there anymore. Now you've got the rub cleared out. Pinch it, squeeze the air out, pinch it shut. And that's it. That's how you do it. Now, if you do want uh, some uh, you know, extra control on your application, we do sell stainless steel shakers. We just don't recommend that you store your rub in these shakers. Pour the rub out of the bag into the shaker, shake it on your food, and then pour the rub back into the bag, squeeze the air out, zip it shut. That's it. That's all there is to it. So thank you very much. Thanks for 10 successful years. And folks, here's to 10 more. Cheers.